Hello my friends, so welcome to my channel with you as always Anfisa Belarus and uh, today on this video I would like to talk with you to show you actually what is going on here in my country in terms of exchange rate, in terms of work for normal local people, uh, also about uh, foodstuffs at uh, supermarkets. So watch my video and I hope you will like it. So first of all, I would like to tell you about the situation, of course, with the exchange rate. This is number one problem for all of our people because, of course, all the prices are actually uh, connected with the exchange rate for dollar and euro. This is pretty high. It was crazy high. A few, uh, like one or two weeks ago, it was for one dollar. Uh, our banks sell it with uh, around four uh, rubles, Belarus which is really high but now it's kind of stabilized now we have a uh, current curse for dollar it's around 3.10 coins something like that so it's not so bad and you were asking me about uh, cars if it's working in Belarus so I have this uh, bank card of this bank and uh, it's also connected to Apple Pay so basically I just put to the card uh, 600 uh, rubles uh, here you can see and uh, I'm gonna use it with uh, Apple Pay and just to pay electricity and stuff like that so no problem it's working and also about uh, you know the exchange rate it's not only the problem uh, the other problem problem that people would like to save their money in international currency but the issue is it's hard even to find it at uh, banks and here is another day I still trying to collect uh, money from my cards to cash and luckily today I got $500 because some person actually just give it to a cash resistor but you really need to hunt for uh, international currency in cash today also it's important to say that uh, actually Belarusian cars they are all working inside of the country but uh, some banks, uh, Belarusians, they are under the sanctions, which is mean uh, with these cards uh, we cannot pay some kind of uh, foreign services, maybe some applications, and we also cannot use these cards for payment uh, abroad. And of course uh, we have changed at uh, supermarkets in terms of prices. At the same time I cannot say that any of supermarket is actually uh, suffering because there are no products which we used to have. This is I cannot really notice. Uh, but in general prices uh, went up for, to around 20%. And right now we are at local supermarket. I'm at my town where I was born and here you can see that there are plenty of uh, food products. I think we will not die from hungerness in coming months, this is for sure. Whatever you need you can find here. This is a part with uh, meat and uh, also with fish. Let's come inside. Actually, meat production in Belarus is pretty good. Also, same with milk. And this is a bill. So basically, with the price of 40 rubles, you can get a basic products like bread, toilet paper, a few vegetables. Yeah, some kind of nuts and water. That's it. And just show you shortly that some stores are ready to close. Now 
of course, let's talk about uh, the situation with jobs. This is really a hard topic. I can hear from all around that people are thinking what they should do. You know, the prices um, for things around there, of course, growing, but the salary does not change or goes down. Uh, in my case, as you know, I work in uh, tourism and uh, it's directly affected uh, me. First of all, uh, because the flights uh, to Belarus and from Belarus, uh, they are so long now and we have just few destinations. It's like Istanbul, so in general Turkey, we're going to fly to Antalya from uh, 7th of April. Also, we are flying to uh, Egypt, uh, to Emirates, to also a few other countries. But uh, in, because of the situation, uh, it's our neighborhood, so it's not our uh, at Ukraine basically yeah we need to fly around and that's why all the flights right now are crazy long uh, like to Turkey before we were flying with two hours and uh, 30 minutes now we are flying with six hours 30 minutes so in general uh, you need to pay of course more uh, money for this which our people are not ready to do so uh, their requests go down people who are really uh, interested in flying abroad which is my directly my work because I'm a travel manager here uh, it's uh, you know very small uh, so basically we don't have work at all right now this is a problem Also, very hard situation, of course, for our uh, restaurant structure sphere uh, because um, there are not so many foreigners who were coming before. Uh, because again, it's hard to reach our country currently, and uh, at the same time, Belarusian people, because of the bad mood, because of the situation, they are not interested in going out, of course, so often as before, and also because uh, their um, budget for you know such kind of activities it's uh, of course uh, cut it right now because people think about futures they think how they actually will survive Also, I was talking with a few restaurants and they were saying that they actually will change some positions at their menu because it will be impossible to keep the same level of prices and you know our people they are not ready to pay I don't know 70 80 rubles for salmon this is totally crazy uh, so that's why they will try to you know focus on Belarusian products uh, through this way they will keep the level of uh, you know the their prices somehow on the same uh, stage. Uh, but there is actually one, uh, to my mind, really huge problem uh, with actually, you know, pills at uh, pharmacy and some, you know, products. Uh, some people here, of course, uh, they used to take not our Belarusian uh, pills. And this is so exactly the problem with my dad because uh, he has uh, some issues with his health. And it's already the problem to find uh, some uh, uh, pills for him so that's why we were buying actually in advance uh, right now uh, lots of uh, you know <laughs> packages of pills so at least he can you know survive for, for a few months it's At the same time, we are pretty lucky with, uh, of course, uh, the prices for petrol because it's a little bit growing up, but uh, not so much as uh, I can hear around the world. This is totally crazy. In Belarus, it's absolutely fine. My friends, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. And let me know in comments uh, which kind of topic you would like to see here on my channel. Uh, take care and see you in Belarus.